is Kathy from Divining Perspective. Today I'm going to do a fast flip through of the Marikai Tarot uh, from Kickstarter. Hopefully I didn't butcher the name of it. Um, it does have like a shiny detail on top of a rose finish box. Um, it is two piece. It does say uh, the tarot on one end. Let me open it up and it says um, to do something with soul, creativity, and love, to leave the essence of yourself and your passion in your work. I thought that was very cute. And then the back of the deck, or a uh, box, I should say. And again, this is the Kickstarter. Uh, so next up is the book. It doesn't fit in the box. Uh, same thing, very soft, except for like the detail, it's kind of more plasticky, but gorgeous, very gorgeous. Uh, so it has the major arcana, uh, light, dark, uh, description of the card, crystal associations for the major arcana, minor arcana have descriptions of the cards in the second paragraph, uh, the light and dark as well. Um, it does have a lot of extra cards, which I thought was kind of neat. The um, Major Arcana Association uh, for Astrology and Element. So it has all the Major Arcana and then that. And then the back of the cards. Soft um, velvety finish for that. The astro Astrological Signs for each of the cards. Uh, the solar system associations and crystal associations for the major arcana and then just a thank you card with I think I guess I got number 121 so very neat there uh, first up is the major arcana there are there's a number 22 deck or 22 card and then there's two other extra cards so it has a total of three extra cards in this deck I think this is actually my favorite card out of the deck. That and the High Priestess. And it does have the symbols on the card as well. You see uh, the bat a lot in The Hanged Man, um, but I love how she like changed it to be like a night sky. So this is an extra card, uh, 22. And then the last two are not numbered, but it's clarity and obscurity. So next up is the um, suit of wands. And I did forget to mention this is a uh, gilded deck. Not, well, it's got like a blackish, uh, grayish color to the edges. Another one of my favorite cards from this deck.
Next up is the Suit of Cups. It can be sometimes a little bit hard to separate, but it's just newer, too. Next up is the Suit of Swords. And last is the suit of pentacles. And then I'll go ahead and shuffle the deck as well. Uh, so you can see it's a nice thick deck. And then I'm going to pause real quick and then I will shuffle it. So I moved the camera up a little bit just so you can get a better view. Let me shuffle in this deck. It is on the thicker side, so it's a little bit harder to shuffle, but it still shuffles. Or I just take half. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.